catch up to all day? How did you characterize the first few minutes and kind of how, how you got in that early hole that was so hard to get out? It's a lack of effort carried over from the USC game. Came out really flat. They had more pop and more energy. And they got a wide open shots. I mean, granted, they were shooting, I think, 74% in the first half, but in those first minutes. But still, I think effort can stop, can at least change their shot, and at least make them think twice about shooting open threes. I think personally, just to play hard is just the number one goal. And until like we can come together as a team, it's not just me. I understand as a captain, I have that role, but it's, it's a team effort at the end of the day. So. It's a great feeling, honestly. Um, despite the loss, like. Um, I definitely take pride in rebounding, so to have the record and only be a sophomore is a great feeling. Like, I'm glad I accomplished it, but there's still more I need to go, I need to do. And I have definitely higher goals, not just for myself, but for this team. But honestly, it's a great feeling and something I definitely take pride in, so I'm very proud of myself for that. All right, you said that there was some carryover from the USC game, and now you've got a loss here, and it's on the road next. How? What, what, are, what are you going to do? What do you expect Coach to do to try and change the mindset a little bit here and, and re, rekindle the spark, so to speak? Um, like you said, it was, it's a mindset. So I think it just starts with practice, um, learn from our mistakes, and just kind of work hard. It's just as simple as that. I think half of these defenses take effort. I mean, all of these defenses take effort, honestly, and this system takes a lot of effort, and I think that's what we're lacking. Coaches can't get out there and play for us. Yeah. Do you think that's the biggest difference between these last three games and the stretch before where you can score? Um, definitely. I think our rebounding is a lot higher. I think in previous games, we were all crashing. Everyone was fighting over boards. And our rebounding has slowly dropped. Our turnovers have increased. And when you're giving up turnovers, that's basically free points. So taking away our possessions. And also, like our effort, like you can't, that's something you can't teach. Is that a fatigue thing or wear and tear on the season, the effort? I don't think so. I think it's, it's from within and as a team. Like, um, we have really great leaders from Ariel to Danielle, and then we just have to work on everybody jumping on board. I think that's our biggest thing is like, we'll have two or three players who are ready, working hard, doing what they need to do the defense, and then we have like two players, like, who aren't going as hard. And that's that's on us as a team. Like, we need to pull everyone together, and we need to be like, we have to do this together. And that's still something we're developing is, like, it can't just be one person. Like, it can't just be Ariel always like, let's go, let's go. We need everybody to be into it. Even myself, sometimes I find myself, like, not as up as I need to be and being, like, because I'd rather lead. I'm more of a leader by example. I don't really speak much. So sometimes I find myself, like, I need to pick myself up. So. I wouldn't say it's because of the wear and tear in the season. It's been a long season, and there's still more to go. But it's definitely individual, and as a team, we need to come together. And if we get that, we'll finish out strong with the last four games that we have before Pac-12 play. I think what she said earlier, how she takes pride in rebounding. A lot of players, they want to go out there and score. But for Jill to do something that's the little thing you see in basketball, the rebounding, I mean, that's, that's huge. And to, to fight over every ball like it's the last ball or this is the ball we need every single time is, is, is a gift. And I think Jill has a great knack for it. So it's, it's a big thing. And we're blessed to have Jill on our team. No, I mean, personally, I just try to play every game and give it my all. Today, my shots just happen to go in. <laughs> yeah, you play your butt off. Ariel did really good tonight. I give her the credit for how the game ended in a sense of more of the upturn when we were coming back because she played every minute and she left everything out there. And that's something we all have to do as a team. I, I like she did that. Like, 
we all have to leave it out there. And I definitely give all the credit to Ariel tonight because we wouldn't have been in the game as much if it wasn't for her. On that same point, it would be nice to see Danielle Lowe put a nice one. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome because Dilo, she's definitely been struggling lately because she's she's trying to get back and get back into the flow of her thing. But for her to drop 19 tonight shows that she's still there. There's still Danielle. She's still going to be one of the best fives to run this system. And that has to prevail through the next four games. I, I have great confidence in her that she will do that. So and all credit to her again tonight. She did well. She worked hard. She had, what, nine rebounds? Like, that's Danielle stepping her game up in front of her. One for 16 from uh, Crochet tonight. Um, knowing her, you know, personally inside and outside, like with her locker room and stuff, how do you know, how do you think she's going to attack forms like this and come back next game? Knowing Crochet, she's going to probably be in the gym for the next 72 hours or so, like until we leave for Washington, just getting shots up every time. That's Shay. And Today she was definitely oh she was definitely off and I think it was because she was thinking too much she wasn't herself today for some reason and I had to talk to her at halftime let her know like let it go because when she has to come talk to me previous games where I was now like it's a new half and I don't think she was able to shake that this game so she's definitely going to be in the gym and in practice just working hard every day and we're going to see the real crochet come back in these next couple of games. Anything more? Thank you.